Seven-year-old Dakota Vincent was playing with his five and 19-year-old sisters in the Rogue River at Baker Park in Grants Pass Wednesday night when Dakota and his younger sister got caught in the powerful current. The, either the sister or a bystander was able to grab the five-year-old uh, and the seven-year-old went underwater and they were unable to locate him. Passersby tried to help, but despite their search and rescue efforts, Dakota wasn't found until nearly 12 hours later. The young boy's lifeless body was found just 50 feet downriver from the Parkway Bridge. Police say the family had just moved back to the area from out of state. The parents dropped the children, including the 19-year-old, off, and they were doing you know, moving stuff. News of the tragic drowning striking people hard on the river, particularly this longtime Grants Pass resident who was watching over her young grandson. I have this one and I actually have to be in the water with him at all times because otherwise he'll go straight out. Randy Buckle says she sees it all the time. Children and adults unattended or even supervised to fall victim to the river's changing waters. The river has its, a mind of its own. It's actually <laughs> taken quite a few people. An example of how easily accidents can happen is just upriver from our interview. Three young girls playing in the river with no adults in sight. Josephine County Sheriff Gil Gilbertson says this accident should be a reminder to all parents. We lose three or four people every year in this river. It's a treacherous river. And for Randy Buckle, the news leaves her heartbroken in many different ways. What's ended up happening is really sad for the 19-year-old, too. A tragic nightmare Buckle hopes no child, teenager, or adult will ever have to experience. In Grants Pass, Travis Cook, NBC5 News.